Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. It is, of course, a Wednesday, hump day, June the 8th. Uh, let's get rolling, shall we? Before we do, ask real quick if you guys would take a minute, smash that like button. There you go. Thanks very much. Appreciate the effort. And of course, don't forget to get subscribed to our YouTube channels. We've got a pair of them the Winners and Winers YouTube channel, of course, and the Max Wagers Network YouTube tube channel as well starting monday all your favorite live shows will appear exclusively on the max wagers network so if you're uh, used to checking out me and chris in the afternoon or perhaps uh, checking out scott and i both those shows will be on the max wagers network so please get over there and get subscribed all right get, uh, ring the bell get notified every time we go live you know the drill and of course we want to know what you're playing whatever you got cooked up put those plays in the comment section give you five units to play with however you want to spend them it's all up to you and uh, games go off, you make a profit, you get some right, hey, we'll give you a shout out. You get enough of them right, you're going to wear the crown, you're going to climb the hill, you'll stand at the apex of all that is good and holy. You will be the capper of the day. So, with that being said, let's take a look and uh, see how we did yesterday on the plays. Of course, our play of the day at San Francisco on the run line at uh, plus 105. I know some people talked about uh, this line moving to minus 110, so we had some real nice closing line value there. And we can go ahead and throw that right in the closing line value trash can. That's gone. Uh, as the Giants did their thing, they came out. Of course, um, they started off, Rodon started off giving a home run up to uh, to Joe, on the, the first batter of the game uh, for Colorado. But uh, you know, they got out without too much damage. And then uh, San Francisco did exactly what I thought they'd do against Herman Marquez. They broke through for three runs in the first inning. All right, boys, we're off and running. Here we go. Just sit back, watch those runs roll in. And uh, yeah, funny story. That was it. Carlos Rodon, who had been terrible, uh, was actually good. And then he left and the Colorado bullpen, which had been terrible, uh, was actually pretty good. So uh, the Giants put up no more runs. Uh, Rodon, not real sharp. A bullpen, even worse. And uh, yeah, um, Charlie uh, Blackman comes in, hits the three-run dinger. Bob's your uncle. No more 3-2, three, 5-3. Three. And with Giants done scoring for the day, fuck it, pack it up. We're done. So. Uh, on the premium side, we go uh, two and two, had St. Louis, Tampa Bay over seven and a half, got to extras, tried to help us out, just uh, had too tall of a hill to climb there. Uh, had the Dodgers uh, against the White Sox. Hey, Kopech might be a good pitcher. What do you think? Looks like all the stories and uh, rumors about him someday being a dominant hurler could be coming true because he ain't took care of the Dodgers uh, as the White Sox shut out the boys from L.A., did a little better on the last two. We had Seattle Houston under eight, and we did have the Miami Marlins uh, plus money, plus money uh, going up against Adon and the Washington Nationals. My God, my God, the carnage. Adon, if that's the uh, that's the Chicago State ooey pooey of uh, major league pitchers right now, guys. If you're not if you're not fading Joe on Adon, you absolutely should be. Uh, as far as the farm goes. Believe it or not, we actually had to sweat that one for a minute as the Yankees broke through late, covered the run line. Um, finally, as they uh, as they uh, took care of business. So uh, the Twins were game. The, the uh, Twins starter, he was uh, he was okay, better than we thought we'd be, but the Yankees just kind of wore him down, got through that Twins bullpen, and uh, took care of business. So we go uh, we go three and three. We push it on the day. We take a look at tonight's action, guys. We're going to do something we haven't done yet. We're going to play the Golden State Warriors. We're going to play them in the uh, third quarter, minus one and a half. Now, I know you guys are probably aware, because you're sharp cappers, you pay attention to this shit, you are probably aware the Golden State Warriors have been extremely good in the third quarter, not just in the playoffs, but throughout the season. In fact, uh, during the regular season, they outscored their opponents by 2.8 points per game in the third quarter. That was numero uno in the NBA, and that trend has continued if not even more so in the postseason, we've gone 12 and five in the third quarter straight up. They're winning by an average of 6.70 points per game in the third in those 17 games. They uh, are plus 35 against Boston so far in this one. And uh, that comes out to 17 and a half per game. They went uh, four a game against Dallas and they went 7.6 against Memphis. Uh, one of their bigger struggles was against Denver. Um, as far as the third quarter goes, probably probably the altitude, but uh, they did manage to have an advantage over Denver plus three twenty five. So 
With that being said, take a look at Boston. They've been decent in the third quarter. They haven't been fantastic in the playoffs so far. They're 10, 7, and 3. And overall, they are minus 37 points in the third quarter. That comes out to minus 1.85 per game. I don't know what Steve Kerr says to him at uh, at halftime, but he ought to try saying it more to the uh, to him in the uh, in the fourth quarter. That would be perhaps a good plan too. But as far as the third quarter goes, I like Golden State. Obviously, the books are onto this too. In a game where Boston's favored, it made Golden State the favorite in the third quarter. They're smart. Just don't think it's enough. Uh, give me the Golden State Warriors third period, third quarter, minus the one and a half. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right. You guys know how I did yesterday. Let's uh, check in and see how y'all did, shall we? Uh, Daniel and Angel- you know what? It is not that hard of a name. Daniel Angelero. Uh, Tailed the Butcher yesterday, also had the Mets and the Avs. Nicely done, Daniel. Oh, and Toronto as well. So the Mets was with Butcher, sorry. Yeah, the Avalanche and Toronto run line. Um, I didn't do the Toronto game because it was going off pretty early. And uh, it's a uh, it's a 110 Central start, 210 Eastern. So, But uh, if you haven't heard me on any of the shows talking about the Royals lately, uh, no reason to back this team right now whatsoever. Uh, Brady Singer. Had been good in Omaha. He came back and uh, had a couple good starts and then sucked his last time out. He's your starter here today. So you want to you take Toronto on the run line? I don't blame you. Uh, J- John O'Reilly goes 1-0 plus 500. He had Detroit first five money line. I told Chris on the show I'm all in on Scubo. Uh, I like this kid. I like his demeanor. I like, I like the way he, um, he mixes his pitches. Um, he's really started to put it together this season. I got to talk about this cat. CS83-Cold Grizzly. Um, this dude, he's, he's watched for a while, finally took the plunge and, uh, he put in some soccer plays close, close, but hadn't quite got there. So on his fourth try, hit a nice parlay today, uh, or a nice, a nice, uh, plus money shot. He went one and oh, plus eight, 10 at Germany versus England. First half, nil, nil first half goals under a half. And that absolutely came true as Germany. Scored the first goal of the game at the 50-minute mark. Nicely done, Grizz. Well done. Welcome to the club, buddy. Uh, Daniel Daniel Angelero, uh, 1-0, plus 500. He had the Red Sox. Took him a while, but uh, the Angels, again, coming up with new and creative ways to lose games. Once again, the game they were ahead, end up losing in extras. Uh, James S. goes 1-0, plus 500. He had the Guardians' first five in game numero uno Derek Saunders going three and two plus 75 C dub haven't seen Chris in a while with soccer slowing down but he's playing in the uh uh UF the uh UEFA Nations Cup and he uh uh did pretty well uh, can you interest you in four and oh plus 430 nicely done C dub Dr. Brown the doctor is in the money going three and two plus 90 but your capper of the day, we see him a lot, and we always joke about that he has an unfair advantage, and he certainly did last night as the time traveler goes 1-0 and plus 25-90. Nice little three-teamer with Detroit money line, Toronto run line, and the Colorado-San Francisco over 7.5. No sweat, time traveler. Well done, my friend. 1-0 and plus 25-90. You are the capper of the day. Very done. Very well done. Well done to the rest of you guys. It's hump day. Let's get over the hump and start making that money, all right? You guys take care. Again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Check me out here in a little while with Chris and with Scott. But if you can't make those, you know, I'll be back tomorrow about 24 hours from now doing my best to help you guys in that journey to head back to the window. Take care, everybody.